hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today I am digging into one of my older palettes. Older? But is it really older? I don't know. I'm going to use the Waiting Room palette from Melt. This was their Halloween collection or holiday collection last year. And this is uh, the red one. I've used this once. Twice? Once. Um, this is inspired by Beetlejuice. I am a huge Beetlejuice fan. Um, I have seen that movie a lot of times. So I'm going to do something today and I don't know what this is going to be for kind of video. Right now I don't know what I'm doing on YouTube. I do makeup content, but like, what am I even doing? I don't know. So I don't know if this is going to turn out to like a good red with me. I have no idea. But what I want to do today, I have on a green shirt, as you see, like one of my few non-black shirts. I think I have like maybe four t-shirts that are not black. But I like, I want to do something red today and I want to have a red lip and I love green and red together so I was like okay I throw on a green shirt what the fudge so I'm mainly going to focus on this one Olivia I swatched it and it looks amazing so one thing that I think is a little bit problematic with this palette like I don't know what to have in my crease I think I will take this Obuchery I'm not going to pronounce that anymore. So I'm going to take that in my crease, I think, or kind of crease, like here, and then smudge it up in my crease. Because what I can remember, this is pretty, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty intense. And I was so happy when these palettes came out. I have, as I said, loved beetle use from a very young age. I guess I may have saw it a little bit too early. <laughs> Oopsie. I have always, like, uh, my mom has, like, never stopped me from seeing movies that I'm... I was this friend that couldn't see, like, even if I was 11, I could see a movie that was rated from 15. Um, I was that kind of child. Maybe that's because I'm a little bit strange. But <laughs> I know that my mother has only said no once when I wanted to watch, watch a movie. I think I was eight or nine. And my older brother was going to watch seven. And I wanted to see it. And my mom was like, no, you are not. And then when I saw it when I was older... Maybe like 12 or something. I understand what, why she said no. I don't even know why. How, how did I come up into this? I don't know. Okay, so I'm just taking this shade. Something like this. I wish there was like one redder or more red matte shade in this palette. It has these two up here, but this no exit is kind of brown-ish, and this is really deep. I would want like Lydia, but the matte shade. But it is what it is. So maybe this is turning into kind of get red with me, I don't know. Am I going to talk about movies all the video? We will see. Another thing though that I can tell you about movies <laughs> when I was younger, I watched uh, Face Off with Nicolas Cage and uh, John Travolta. John Travolta? John Travolta? John Travolta, you say in Sweden. <laughs> and I think I was like eight when I saw that. I saw it with my brother and my older cousin. And... Okay, if you don't want to know the end of the movie, I'm going to spoil now, so 
<laughs> if you want to see the face off and not knowing how the end is, don't watch anymore. But you know, they are hunting each other um, with boats and it's like explosions and they shoot at each other and I was so scared. I was like sitting there next to my brother like, this isn't for real, this isn't for real, this isn't for real. And he still tease me with this. And every time it like is, it's going to be on TV and me and my brother are in the same room and it's like a commercial for it. He's like, do you know what? That movie, it's not for real. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I was eight. Leave me alone. Other than that, I don't think I have any special like movie memories. And okay, maybe one thing. Like nowadays, I movies is not my favorite thing. I like TV shows more because I can't be like concentrated too long. It feels like, but when I was younger, like 15, 14. Uh, me and my friends watch a lot of horror movies and I was the one in our friend group that wasn't afraid of anything. Like I scared my friends instead because I was not afraid of anything. But like the older I get the more afraid of the dark I get. And I like can't watch a scary movie anymore. I don't know what it is with me. Is that like a common thing, the older you get, the more scared you get? Or did I like use up my tolerance before I turned 20? I don't know. Because we really, really loved to watch horror movies. Especially the ones from South Korea and Japan. I think those was my favorites. But nowadays... That is not my thing. Nowadays I love movies that are based on true stories. We watched uh, a couple of weeks ago. We watched The Green Book. I really like that one. Okay, my camera shuts me off or like the memory card. I don't know if I need to buy a new memory card. Because I have one old and one new, and my older one is not working properly. Properly. So I don't know if I might need to buy a new one. I'm going in with Olivia now, this one, and the rest of my lid, and we will see how this will look. I don't think this shade is like that opaque up here. Hello. Hello. It's a little bit patchy. And I don't know if it shows, but I'm starting to feel a little bit better. Um, just kind of like a little update. My dad is home from the hospital. They still don't know though what it is. But he has finally been going home. And... He feels okay. He's not feeling good, but he was allowed to go home. And I think that will make him feel better a lot faster. Because when he got to the hospital, they was like, okay, you might have to stay for a week. And that was six weeks ago, I think. Six weeks ago. Six weeks ago. So... He has been sick and tired of being in the hospital and also like you're not allowed to visit people that are in the hospital right now so it has been hard on him and I really get that. And that lifted off like even though we don't know what's wrong he is home at least and 
I guess that means something, so that makes me feel a lot, lot better. And I think that is all I want to talk about. And it feels like I've used this shade before. But I don't think I used it in my first impression. I have no idea. Doesn't feel like my eye shape is that good. I haven't done makeup now for a while. And it always feels like I'm a beginner at it. Okay, should I go back and talk about movies? Is this the channel I'm going to be? Just doing a lot of get ready with me's and talk about everything and nothing. Maybe it is. Yeah, I can look. One other kind of movie I love to watch is high school movies. Or what do you call them? Like Mean Girls and stuff like that. It's my guilty pleasure when it comes to movies or like bridesmaids or something like that. And I don't think it like fits my personality like at all. But it's just like a guilty pleasure I have. And every time my boyfriend is away, that is what I watch. I have seen like the ones that came out in the middle of... Yeah, maybe 2005 to 2010. That long? Yeah, I think so. I have seen them all. I just... I just love that kind of movies. But at the same time it feels like... Am I allowed to do that? I think like the first thing that I really, really, really did love when it comes to movies was... Like action movies. I don't know who that person was but I think that was kind of big in the end of the 90s and the beginning of 2000 like action movies I don't know okay do you know what I'm going to take away the fallouts but I think I will continue doing the base with you or will I I don't know do I have that much to talk about Maybe I've done some of my base and then I come back. We will just see. I will at least take away the fallouts. I did my whole base and does this eyebrow look a little bit wonky? Yes, it does. I am like searching for a good eyebrow product thing. I don't like my eyebrows. Right now I am too lazy to go and pick up the things I usually use, so I just took an eyeshadow. Yeah, maybe that's better. Okay, I did my base and I don't know where to put this. I did my base and I used the Nabla Skin Realist and I, I like this one but I'm having some problems with it. First of all, I think it might look a little bit dark on me. I don't know, but when I used this, I did a video about this and it looked so much better, like when I have had it on for an hour, it like melted more into my skin and it looks really dark when I put it, in, put it on, then it's way too dark, but I think it just needs to sit a little bit on my skin to like sink in and I don't know if you can say adapt to my skin because I don't think it can do that, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And also, I don't want to set this with powder. And then I... I'm having a hard time when I don't setting my face. But now when I look in the viewfinder, it might look kind of good. I don't know. For my eyes, I think I will just go in with this shade. But I'm a little afraid it's going to be super dark. So I'm doing something stupid. I take a fluffy brush and how do I think that I'm going to have control over this underneath my eyes I don't have a clue what I'm doing right now and it actually feels a little bit unusual for me to film today 
when I'm filming this it's Friday and I'm usually so tired of the work on Friday and this week at work has been kind of a lot I have really this year worked less overtime um, because I I didn't I'm not 20 years old anymore and I can't talk when I put my lower lash on and I have like it's not worth it the money I get when I'm working overtime it's not worth um, my mental health and uh, but this week I worked overtime uh, again but it has been because we are going to have inventory at work this weekend so I'm working extra on Sunday so yeah but okay where was I going with that one I don't feel the tired actually I don't know why maybe because I'm not uh, maybe because I'm a little bit happier now I don't know if I should say happier maybe just because I'm a little bit not a little bit not that sad <laughs> Did it makes any sense I really hope so and I have really been like a terrible friend this last couple of weeks I haven't like had the energy to even take care of myself almost and there I dropped the brush I hate when I do that I need to be more careful okay <laughs> are you hearing that that is Ines that wants to go in I'm thinking of putting something in my inner corner and I'm actually thinking of taking something from this Ultimist palette from whatever they are called now blue ultraviolet pink or green I think I will take green emerald like what is up with this brand I think they were hoping on so much more when Kat Von D left the brand but I think that people gave up a long time ago like a really long time ago and I don't think they are going to be able to save it whatever they do okay so something for my waterline and do I want to go all red and be really dark maybe I do I will take this one this is one of my favorite eye pens this is NYX faux blacks in oxblood so I'm going to pop on my mascara and choose a lip for this so I will fix that and then I come back so for my lips I took one of my absolute favorite liquid lipsticks this is unspoken from Nabla it's a really deep cool amazing red so this is my something <laughs> with the Beale Melt Beale Juice waiting room palette and I really like this Olivia shade, this one. The thing I think this palette is missing is some more reddish matte shades because I think they are pulling a little bit too brown for my liking. I would like and okay now I really haven't used these shades but grey isn't my favorite shades to use. I bought this for the red shades I totally did and because it's beetle use but if you want me to use this more I can do that and try to use like the grayish maybe this this whole row down here maybe challenge myself a little bit maybe that would be good and not do things that I love and know how to do but yeah I really hope you like this video I don't know if I'm going to be one of these get read with me channels. I have no idea. 
I love those channels myself. I love that Paulina from Paulin Paulina's Beauty or Paulina. Uh, she does like only get red with me and I love that and I think it feels strange to just sit down and talk to you and not do my makeup but yeah I don't know I as I've said in like the latest videos that I put up these two latest months I'm just trying to trying to figure out this thing again because Right now I feel a little bit lost, but yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and uh, I hope we'll see you in the next one. Bye!